Typically speaking, if you're carrying a large amount of tennis rackets and equipment as an amateur tennis player, you have two options. You have the duffel bag, and then you have the traditional racket bag of like the 9, 12, or 15 pack. Let's take a look at the pros and cons of both, and then let me also show you a tennis bag that actually takes the best of both worlds to give you a pretty damn good product. And the best thing is, you can buy it right now. These statements are obviously generalizations about my personal thoughts and opinions about these two methods of holding inventory of tennis equipment. So before you absolutely roast me in the comments about how there are some exceptions to my statements, which there are, do me a favor, hit like and hit subscribe, and better yet, join my Discord to join in the conversation and hit that notification bell to be notified on original tennis content uploads. The traditional tennis bags are characterized by their racket-shaped outline. Yes, they can carry a lot of tennis rackets comfortably, anywhere between four to six in a realistic setting. But there are a lot of large tennis bag manufacturers out there that have way too many compartments. I sometimes get lost in where I place my overgrips within sleeves, side sleeves, and whatever sleeves they have provided. There just isn't too much logical sense and where they put auxiliary sleeve placements within these traditional tennis racket bags. When it comes to the actual space of traditional racket bags, other than the small compartments for wallet sized items, you really won't find any proper storage space for larger items. As a tennis stringer and amateur tennis player, I sometimes lug around up to three full-size tennis reels for myself and clients around the Milwaukee area. And if I'm doing a weekend tournament that is out of state, I always love putting large items in the same compartment, like a 64 ounce water bottle, some slightly used tennis balls, and a pack of overgrips. Just not bad a lot. Other than two tennis bag manufacturers go at advantage, there has been a boring slew of same old, same old tennis bags being churned out by these huge manufacturing tennis companies. It literally seems they just throw in new color schemes to old tennis bags and sell them to you for an extra 5% increase, boasting the new technologies, when in fact, it's kind of the same old shit with a new paint job. Kind of like tennis rackets, actually. For example, the thermal insulation in most traditional tennis bags literally do not work, according to the founder of Go Sports. It literally just feels like tinfoil lining in your tennis racket sleeve to make you feel like it helps with the temperature. But in reality, it's not effective at all. Lastly, tennis bags are typically not good for traveling. I've been traveling to California and Arizona for tennis clinics and national tournaments. I will leave links to this corner if you guys haven't seen those vlogs already. And I literally have never found myself longing to bring a traditional tennis bag as a check-in or personal item for my flight. Because they are made for holding tennis rackets as a priority. I ended up bringing a Go Tennis Backpack as a personal item and putting my two tennis rackets in the backpack. On the other side of the fence, let's talk about duffel bags for tennis. Duffel, or rectangular tennis bags, are a bit more uncommon than the previously mentioned category. They are definitely not shaped like tennis rackets and feature one absolutely massive open compartment. Although this might seem like a good idea in the theory, it's actually not good for tennis players because it does not keep the rackets your weapon as a top priority. Most amateur tennis players that use duffel bags have their racket handles sticking out to the side, which feels extremely uncomfortable to maneuver in most situations. Also, let me explain. The main compartment is just way too large in these duffel tennis bags. Of course, I want to be able to store reels of strings along with the larger items in the same bag as my tennis rackets, but I've yet to see a duffel bag until now, with a small side compartment for wallets, sunscreen, phones, and wristbands. I find myself just throwing these smaller items with these larger, clunkier items with traditional duffel bags for tennis. And I really, really don't like it because I sometimes just want to check my phone and grab a wristband without having to dig through reels of strings and going through massive water bottles. However, there are two very, very big upsides 
to using a duffel bag. I traveled a lot in the first quarter of 2022, as I previously have said, going to California and Arizona to participate in NTRP national tennis tournaments and also to help with Ian with Essential Tennis and his crew. Shout out to Essential Tennis in this video. And let me tell you, the duffel bags would be an absolute godsend for carry-on items like tennis rackets. And trust me, you do not want to check in something as fragile as tennis rackets in an airplane unless it's in a hard suitcase. Because you don't know what these guys are doing once it leaves your eyesight. The rectangular shape in contrast to the more racket curved shape of a traditional tennis bag is a lot easier to fit in an overhead compartment. Also, the overall carrying capacity of a duffel bag is an absolute giant compared to the carrying space of a traditional racket bag. Yes, there are pros and cons to both tennis bags, but I will tell you right now, I did recently come across a product that has the best of both worlds with none of the negatives. Advantage Tennis sent me a free Jetpack tennis bag, I believe it's a charcoal color, for me to test and demo. Don't worry, I didn't get paid to make this video by them. And I will say, I absolutely love it. There are two compartments that are specifically for tennis rackets. The website claims it holds four tennis rackets in total, but truthfully, I think you could put three rackets in each compartment if you squeeze hard enough. So for a total of six, if you really try it. The best part is, the main compartment is surprisingly larger than you think. And yes, that is what she said to me. I'm able to fit two medium-sized water bottles and three reels of tennis strings with more than enough room for medium-sized to large-sized items in the main compartment. And to be honest, if I needed more than six rackets, I could squeeze more than four of them in the main compartment for my stringing clients with ease. For the smaller items like phones, wallets, and wristbands, there are three compartments on the side. One houses my athletic tape, pre-wrap, and sunscreen, because I get injured a lot and I don't want to get sunburned. The second is my phone and wallet, and the third are for individual overgrips. But wait, there is more. There is a compartment for cold drinks, such as plastic water bottles, sports drinks, and most importantly, cold IPA beers for a summer night. The other side of the Jetpack tennis bag has a shoe compartment with mesh venting, so your shoes don't get too stinky. And lastly, at the bottom of the tennis bag is a secret compartment for all your stinky ass clothes. Also, this tennis bag has clips so it can hang on fences if you don't want it to be laying on the dirty ground on the tennis court. If you guys are more curious about this Advantage Jetpack tennis bag, check out the link down in the description below and use the promo code ADV Sunset for a 10% discount. And yes, it does help out this channel. Now, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you use a traditional tennis bag or do you use a duffel bag? What do you like and don't like about it? Leave a comment or better yet, join the Discord where over 900 regular members are discussing tennis equipment such as bags, strings, and tennis rackets. And as always guys, happy hitting.